welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. I am delighted to be joined by Karen Bartelson, president of IEEE, whose mission is advancing technology for the benefit of humanity. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm really glad to be here. So what role do you believe the technology community should play in the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals? If you think about the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, every single one of them has an element of ICT. From sensors to see what's going on under the ocean, to communications that help people learn better and improve education. Everything you can imagine has a foundation in ICT these days, so it's an extremely important role. And with regards to achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, what role do you see for young professionals, and in particular, young female professionals? As president of IEEE this year, those are my two focus areas, young professionals and women in engineering, and the intersection of them is extremely important. Young professional engineers, technologists, scientists, have to be part of this solution because if not we won't make any progress they're the ones with the creative ideas they're the ones up and coming who will solve these problems that frankly our generation has created for them and actually ict is going to be able to solve problems that we didn't create that that are natural like natural disasters or famine and so when the young people who are so inspired are part of the solution early on they will come up with ideas that nobody could ever imagined before. What I found most fascinating about the young women engineers and the young men engineers, they seem to be gender blind, which is amazing to me because up until the last few years, I was getting very discouraged. The numbers of women in the STEM fields really hadn't changed in decades. But watching the young people who say, why does it matter if you're a woman or a man? We have problems to solve. We have things to, to do to make the world better. So I'm extremely encouraged by it. And the world is definitely going to be a better place because of them. Now, with nearly half the world still unconnected, what role can IEEE play to advance connectivity? So connectivity and information for everybody in the world is at the heart of IEEE's mission, advancing technology for the benefit of humanity. So we call upon all of our members, 400,000 engineers around the world, as well as those who are not members of IEEE, to figure out how to solve these problems. We have what we call the Internet Initiative, which is looking at how policymakers and engineers, technologists can get together and solve the problems because it's interesting that technologists and policymakers speak a different language. Policymakers say, oh, I've heard of this thing called the Internet of Things. I need to regulate it, but what is it? And so we as technologists can explain this is what the Internet of Things is, but it goes the other way as well. I was in a meeting with a room full of policymakers, and they were speaking English. I had no idea what they were talking about because their jargon was different. So that's the purpose of what IEEE's Internet Initiative is doing. The other thing that we think is crucial to the success of connecting people is not just the equipment and the communication vehicles, but security and privacy. Without that, people will be reluctant to connect. So we also, as part of this IEEE Internet Initiative, are looking at cybersecurity and cyber privacy, internet governance, what does this really mean? Because the average person who all of a sudden discovers the internet, if they're at risk for cyber bullying or for identity theft, then they're gonna back away. And so all of the connectivity we put in place would be for naught unless we solve the security and privacy issues. Karen Baselson, president of IEEE, thank you very much. Thank you, this is great.